there, there's nothing exact about racing and that is the beauty of racing and, and breeding. Um, they can come from anywhere. You kind of, you try the best with the best and hope for the best. The ITM trail, it's, it's massive for us. Um, it's a chance for us to give back to the industry. We anticipate probably having about 1,500 to 2,000 people over the next two days, especially when we have two new stallions and uh, with a horse like named Paddington, it will kind of get a lot of attraction with the younger, uh, younger members of, of the society. My name is Mark Byrne and I work in Coolmore Stud and we're in Ireland. Coolmore Stud is one of, if not the biggest stud farm in Europe um, and it has uh, a couple of sister farms within Ireland in County Cork and on third to that there's also a farm in Australia and America so it's a global operation run by the Magner family. It goes back generations now at this stage from MV O'Brien when he set up in Ballydoyle over across the road his daughter Sue O'Brien became Mrs Magner to us and her husband John Magner and uh, between the three of them they set up that it is the Coomore entity and, and, and turned it into the global operation that it is today. Been lucky to have some of the greatest stallions come through the gates of here. We've had Sadler's Wells, Dane Hill, um, Galileo of course. Wooden Bassett is, is such an important horse for us because he's, he's an outcross. And he's got massive international appeal. We had the sales on Australia, they made $2.1 million, $1.9 million. He's kind of a, a rags to riches story. He, um, he was a very good two-year-old. He was a champion two-year-old in France. And for one reason or another, he didn't really go on as a three-year-old. Um, and he retired to Harris Etraham. He was a 6,000 euro stallion. His first five years at stud, he was either standing for 4,000 or 6,000 euros. So it was quite a low level. Um, and from his very first crop, he ended up having the best horse in the world that year, Nan Manzor, from that crop. So, um, I think he's had a Group 1 winner from each of his last six or seven crops now, which is phenomenal. He's standing for €200,000. He's the most expensive stallion we have here at the moment in, in Ireland and on the Kumar roster. And that's what we're about here, is, is trying to bring the best of the bloodstock and the, the breeders to the world of the world to Kumar here in Ireland. We're lucky that we've three new stallions in, in particular, but two in, in Tipperary. Um, we've got obviously Little Big Bear. He's a very exciting young sire. Um, he was an incredibly good two-year-old. He was five pounds superior of the rest of his peers. And he, he was a, a seven length winner of his group one. And then we've got Paddington. Like, he won four group ones in 68 days. Um, he did a feat that Kingman, Frankel, Sadler's Wells, and Giants Cosmo, they came close to doing, but he was the only one to do it as a three-year-old. So he's got all the ingredients to be something that could be a very successful stallion. Stallion Trail. Uh, you could fly into Dublin, you could drive down, stop in Kildare, stop in, in uh, Tipperary and make your way onto Cork and fly home via Cork. So it's, it's a very good initiative and it gets, it gets the feedback it deserves. It, absolutely, it, sorry, it's an absolute pleasure to have the, the open weekend because like so many people, not just Irish, but in general are fans and, and racing supporters that it's the very least we can do is, is have people come in, see the horses, um, you it's unbelievable the knowledge as well of that some of the people that come through the gates and that they have of the of the horses and, and in particular like some of them are actually proper fans of these horses when they race so for for only a weekend to be able to give that back it's 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 very important for the industry